okay? Is you good? Because I want to know. Hey, Glozel. Okay, no. Hey, it's Kai here. And so today, I can't speak without my awesome book because this is going to tell me everything I'm going to say in this video because I don't remember any of it. I just had an idea yesterday and I'm like, I miss you guys, so I'm going to have to get back. So, let's go get our study tips on. I like to study using a chalkboard table. It helps me write stuff down and keep track of my assignments. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that. Stay tuned if you wanna know how to make your own chalkboard table. To get started, use some chalkboard spray paint, a measuring tape, and please don't forget that painter's tape. The size of my board is a perfect square. It is two feet by two feet, or otherwise 24 inches by 24. So I've actually made this chalkboard once before and it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So I'm retrying it again using better tips like painting the board, also ensuring that I double coated it this time. If you're gonna do the double coat, you have to make sure your first coat is dry first. And then I like to start applying my um, painter's tape first, and that's what I did. I just left the top one on. So yeah, I let that dry, and then I started with my second coat. And after the second coat dried, I'd finish putting on the rest of the scotch tape. And then the next step is pretty easy. It's just to spray with your spray paint on the board. And there's no given way to do this. I just measured out with my ruler 10 to 12 inches away from the board. Not that I was doing it from 10 to 12 inches all the time, but I tried. And yeah, I just kind of tried to spray evenly because that's what the directions say. So now I'm just taking off my tape and ooh, 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 let's see if I can make this. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh -huh. I didn't make it. Okay, but the important thing is here, this is where we turn this into a table using just a chair stool and the side of the chalkboard that we want. And literally, you can store anything on this that's going to help you for studying, guys. And I'm going to show you how or what you can store on this table. But... I kind of said anything. But anyway, just here we go. Here you'll just notice several things that I like to keep right by me when I'm studying. I'm just casually throwing my pens, highlighters, you know, all that good, useful stuff when we're studying. 
My main staples are always pencils and pens. My other tip is just to always write down everything. I have a calendar that I just cross off my assignments with when I get done. And right now I'm using my chalkboard table to write down how many assignments I need to get done. And, you know, I just write everything down. That helps me keep track of life. It's like my to-do list for academics. Oh yes, I sniff candles, guys. This is totally what I recommend to do if you're studying because, like, I, I just get really bored if I am in, like, one place all the time. And it just, I don't know, it's, like, relaxing and calming. So I love burning candles when I'm studying. And you can find Glade ones for $2, and they're actually really good quality. And my other tip, it's obvious, to cancel out all all distractions and the best place i do that is in my room because like there's no people walking back and by people i mean my family walking back and forth and back and forth and sometimes it even helps to just listen to music but this is where it gets tricky don't listen to loud music with bass in the background like i do jazz and instrumentals because that keeps my mind focused on the work well, at the same time, it gives my brain a little, I don't know, buzz in the background, so that way I'm not like completely bored while I'm studying an assignment. Bye! Thanks for watching, and don't forget, I want you to study. And don't forget to check out my second video on how to study.